Boxing Truth here, back with another video. Make sure to smash that like button, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Alright, the setting here is the Wild Card Gym. Taking a look at Isaac Cruz Media Workout, the next opponent for Javante Tank Davis in his run towards not legacy or anything like that. Tank is just simply a prize fighter trying to build his stardom and trying to become more of a pay-per-view draw. Fighting these fights is not going to get Tank on that level. But I'm not knocking Isaac Cruz. I actually think it's a decent fight. I've seen some Cruz fights uh, recently and he's not bad. I think he's a lot more dangerous than a shotborn Gamboa. I think he provides more danger than Ricardo Nunez and some of the guys Tank has fought recently. And he might have a better chance at catching Tank than Roley Romero ever did. So it's not a bad opponent. It's going to be a good action fight. It's not pay-per-view worthy. But it will be a fun fight for however long it lasts. And Isaac, he's young, he's fresh, he's he's strong, he can punch, he's an aggressive fighter. However, he's there to be hit, he'll be there to be countered. And the style matchup should favor Gervonta. I expect him to win, but you never know. This this kid is hungry, he's young, he's fresh, and he's pretty explosive, man. I mean that I mean Diego Magdalena was chop worn and faded. But man, he absolutely destroyed him. Even in better fashion than Tia Fimo and other other opponents have done to Magdaleno. I mean, that was a, an explosive knockout. First round knockout that he got over the veteran Magdaleno, who was faded and not on the way out. But the way he dispatched him was pretty impressive. So I expect a good fight between these guys. It'll be action-packed for however long it lasts. And who knows? Maybe Isaac Cruz could catch Gervonta and maybe even create some dramatic moments. And Isaac Cruz is a rated contender. He's highly ranked from, among most of the organizations. So for a replacement opponent, it ain't all that bad. But being it that is on pay-per-view, it's not really a pay-per-view fight. But it is a decent on the card, so you will get value for your money if you decide to pay for this. But this is the main event is a fight between a guy who is considered a huge underdog, and no one really expects him to pull it off. But it's not a bad replacement opponent. I think Isaac Cruz has a puncher's chance. I think he can make it a good fight. I think he could test Gervonta and make him bite down his mouthpiece and it'll be a fun fight for a while it lasts but tank needs to step up in 2022 we need to see some real fights we need to see some real pay-per-view fights not pay-per-view showcases isaac cruz is a respectable opponent but not a pay-per-view b-side you know this is a regular showtime fight but with gervonta's purse demands these type of fights have to be on pay-per-view. But we're going to see, man. <laughs> It'll be funny as hell if, if Gervonta doesn't even try to go after George Campos's. Maybe he doesn't want the smoke. Maybe Floyd doesn't want that smoke. Maybe he's going to keep protecting him. Maybe he's just going to continue with these showcases against Mexican fighters. Maybe he's just going to continue doing what he's doing, just making paydays and fights that he's really heavily favored to win. I mean, when was the last time Gervonta was in a real fight? Where he was considered an underdog or a slight favorite. You got to go back, I believe, four or five years when he fought Pedraza. I think he was a slight favorite in that fight, almost an underdog, but that was his last real fight where he he got he 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 was uh 
he leapfrogged a bunch of contenders to fight Pedraza. He was in the top, bottom of the top 10 when he fought Pedraza. And even he said it himself that Floyd pushed him to fight Pedraza. When he, he didn't even feel that he was completely ready. But he, pa he passed the test with flying colors and he's been on a showcase run ever since. A mandatory here or there. Showcases. Barely KO'd a one-legged Gamboa. So, Gervonta's been up and down in his performances. Sensational knockout wins over Mario Barrios and Leo Santa Cruz. But, I also saw signs of vulnerability. Saw signs of a guy that gets frustrated, that can be beat, that can be outboxed. So... You know, there's a reason why they're taking their time and not really putting him in real fights. There's a reason why he's protected because Tank Davis is a very beatable fighter. But you got to have ability to beat him. And the one thing that you can do against him is frustrate him. That's what really kills Gervonta. If you frustrate him in that ring, he loses it. He loses everything. His focus... His sharpness, his accuracy, he just, he becomes a different fighter and even a more beatable fighter. So I don't think Cruz has that ability to frustrate Gervonta. He's going to be there to be hit right in front of him, but he does possess punching power and physicality. And he's a pit bull for, for, for good reason. The way he fights, he comes forward and tries to fuck you up. So it'll be an interesting fight forever long it lasts, but I expect Gervonta to win in spectacular fashion considering the styles but hopefully we see some real fights for Javante in 2022 this is boxing truth i'm out